in order for us to avoid the error of being led astray away from Christ by false teachers and false teachings by worldly pagan philosophies Paul tells us that the cure is for us to continue in Christ in the exact same way we received him a lot of people don't understand Christian faith the thing Christian faith is self-determination God created human beings with the capacity to be self-determined. So there's nothing wrong in being self-determined. In other words, you, you have a dream or you have a goal, you set your mind and your focus and you're going to achieve that goal and you go ahead in the face of all obstacles, you achieve the goal. That is self-determination, but that is not Christian faith. Self-determination is humanistic faith. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's not Christian faith. Hallelujah. And I want to say this. This may be radical, but it's very important for me to say this. Christian faith is not say, I believe God. No. It is not just say, I believe God. Yes, I know that there's God there. Baba God day. Baba God day, as they say in Nigeria. Baba God day. The only one get power. No, that is not Christian faith. <laughs> Christian faith is not Baba God day. Christian faith is looking at the sacrifice of Jesus. That is what it is. Because that sacrifice is the only remedy that God has provided for man. So if you really claim that you believe in God, then you must believe in him. In that sacrifice of Jesus. Jesus Christ told the Jews that if they claim they believe in God, they must also believe in the one whom he has sent. If you don't believe in the one whom he has sent, you don't believe in God. And to believe in the one whom he has sent means believing in what he has done for you. A lot of people believe in Jesus. A lot of people. Some of the religions in the world, even in the instant religions, they believe that there's somebody called Jesus who existed in history. But they don't believe he is God's sacrifice for their sins. And that's why some of them they still need to fast for some days every year. Because they believe that once they fast for that period of the year, all their past sin in the old year is forgiven. So it's something they must do. But we know that that is a lie. Jesus is God's only sacrifice for sin. Amen. 